dear students as you know the structure of the rna is formed as a result of the folding of the primary structure onto itself these secondary structures they lead to the formation of tertiary structures and some of them they are pseudonauts we would like to see how to detect these pseudonauts by using a graphical representation these pseudonauts can be detected by a simple diagram called the circular graph this can help us to detect the pseudonauts in a very simple and straightforward manner let us see how we can construct a circular plot by looking at uh, an rna tertiary structure so given an rna secondary structure like that which comprises of the hairpin loops interior loops the junctions or the intersections and bulges how can we find out that pseudonauts exist within this structure so the straightforward way is to simply label each nucleotide with an index as shown here by b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 b6 and b7 and so on and so forth so once you label all of these nucleotides starting from the first one till the last one which in this case is represented by bn then you can proceed to draw a circle like this and then you can place each nucleotide starting from the first one on its circumference parameter let's see let's draw the ticks representing each nucleotide in this rna structure like that now you can start by labeling it by b1 2 3 4 5 six and so on and towards the three prime end which is this side versus the five prime end which is on the other side you can arrive at b n n minus one n minus two and so on and so forth so once you have drawn a circle and labeled all the nucleotide bases that are represented by ticks on the circumference of this then you can start coupling by drawing arcs from the nucleotide bases which are coupled to another nucleotide base in this case b1 is coupled with bn minus 1 so an arc needs to be drawn from bn till bn minus 1 like that as you can see bn does not have an arc because it is not coupled to anybody and then you can continue on and you can draw arc between b2 and bn minus 2 like that and b3 and bn minus 3 like that and so on and so forth so once you have drawn arcs between the coupled nucleotides present in the rna secondary structure then you will have something like this in front of you the important thing here thing here is that all of these arcs they start from a nucleotide and they end at the complementary nucleotide however if one of the arc intersects with an other arc which is going from some other nucleotide to its complementary nucleotide then this represents a pseudonaut let us see this here so as i just made the diagram for you b1 has an arc to be n minus 1 b2 has an arc to be n minus 2 b3 has an arc to be n minus 3 however if b7 were to have an arc 
from B7 to Bn minus 4 and B6 were to have an arc that was intersecting the arc going from B7 will be n minus 4 then this intersection would represent a pseudo knot so dear students if you construct the circular diagram for an RNA secondary structure and if you see two arcs that are intersecting each other then you can call it as a pseudo knot